has lost one of its great sons. And we ask that the Almighty God rests this great and powerful soul in eternal peace and may he give his family comfort. And as we have heard, even despite the adversity that he went through, personal, in his own life, he never gave up. He had that foundation at Strathmore, which he continued to support and continued to solicit us for money. And I ask even his friends who are here, the fact that he has left us doesn't mean we should forget about that foundation. The great things that he has said, let us continue. And I, for one, in memory of my friend and brother, pledge a million shillings into that fund so that it may continue to educate more and more children. And I have also indicated to my young daughter here that this is her brother, who is still at uh, uh, JK Watt and has not yet finished. Mimi ndiyo ntasimamia huyo kijana, mpaka amalize. Na tuungane na marafiki wengine akimaliza, tuhafikishe tumempatia na fasi pahali ambako wataweza kulishikilia. Na kuendelea kuwasha taa na jina la baba mzazi ambaye ametuacha leo. Kwa hayo machache na mengi na ombaradhi kwa familia na ombaradhi kwa viongozi wa kanisa sitaweza kukaa mpaka mwisho wa ibada kwa sababu pia kuna sherehe nyingine ya mazishi ambayo hatuwezi kutigetela au watu wengi nao kinyatuke turuga mirele mshio yake mwalimu wake ona kuko kitrali to aliyo turuga mirele na mshio hiyo atodu mauduma ya dogo hatauke mera maya mekiro mdanyo onyo moka ni moka toko makubali ya mahana mutohere mutolekere na mutigeti yeto imana uru to ima no ko akoro tuliyo hamwe ale to uye na to kora boto hamwe mungu wa bariki na mungu wa linde asante sana ya nyeri e, ile sheria ambayo e, ulituambia tutegeneze tumeikalia shini na tunaiagalia hatua kwa hatua tulirudi last week a sebre on tuesday tunaileta e, advance tunaileta e, advance report kwa sababu tunataka kuiagalia with toothpick kwa sababu e, hatuwezi e, endelea kuona watu wetu wa kiagamiswa na pombe vile wanaagamiswa. Natana kwa sababu tunajua wewe ndiye unaogosa hii fita ya pombe, lazima tuhakikishe tumesimama nyuma yako, tuhakikishe umeshida hiyo fita. Hapa Nyeri wa Excellency tunakuhakikishia kwa hiyo bill e, tutaifanya vigumu sana e, watu kunywa pombe ovyo ovyo na tutavinya kabisa kwa hiyo sheria tuhakikishe ya kwamba unless mtu awe ameadikiwa na daktari ni vigumu sana mtu aadikiwe na daktari tutahakikisha ya kwamba hiyo itakuwa mambo ya samani kwa hivyo usikuwe na wasiwasi tuko nyuma yako na rais na tuko nyuma yenu kuhakikisha umetoboa kwa kila jabu asanteni tena mara ingine familia tuko pamoja na tutazidi kuwaombea asanteni asante sana let us keep it as brief as that and as we go on, I uh, will uh, keep um, interrupting maybe to recognize some people. We have uh, former members of parliament. If you, are a, if you have been a member of parliament, you are not currently serving a senator. Kindly stand up. would like to recognize you. Okay. There are none. But I know we have two deputy governors, former deputy governors. We have the deputy gov former deputy governor Nyeri and I think former deputy governor Nairobi. Tafadhali simameni. We recognize you. Simama, 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 Karo. Unless uh, 
there's a problem standing up. Okay, good to have you my coffee. Asante ni sana. Asante ni sana. Um, I think at this point, I would like to invite our member of parliament for Iala uh, and uh, Honorable Kanini Kega to come and give his condolences. Karibu. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, the Second Lady, Pastor Dorcas, Viongozi uh, wote wa kiongozo na governor wetu, familia ya muendazake la fikiangu, kiongori muangi, kanisa, God is good, and all the time, wasawiri usema akufaye wakati wa thiki, diye la fiki. Yule mutu ambaye anakuja kufariji na wewe, wakati ukona ugumu, wakati ukona majonzi, huyo ni rafiki yako. Mimi nimekuja hapa, kwa ni hapa yangu binafsi, familia yangu, ili nije ni fariji na familia ya rafiki yangu. Kengori to all of us, ambao watu walikuwa na mjua. If you wanted to be told the truth, on whatever situation, you'd talk to Kengori. Because Kengori didn't have any gray areas. It is either black or white. And he'll tell you as it is. Umpende ama usimpende. So for us politicians, Mimi, on my own behalf, God to naonge na e quite a lot on many issues. And he would guide me on many issues. Even wakati mingine wakati hatuku watu nasikizana. So we have lost a gentleman, a person who has served this country in sometimes very difficult circumstances. Our police officers, and we respect them, read by the deputy IG here. Ile kazi ambao munafanya, in most cases we don't appreciate. We don't appreciate. Wakati kitu meharibika diyo, wakati tunasema, haa wazikari hawakutufanyia. Lakini wakati wamezuia many things, we don't appreciate. So we for the work that you do. Sitaki kupitisha hapo, niseme on behalf of myself, na familia, niseme pole sana kwa familia, and we learn from him. Be saying the truth. Just like our deputy uh, president here, Rigiji. Be saying the truth. Vile maneno iko, sema vile maneno iko. Kwa hayo mege ni machache, asante ni sana na mungu wabariki. Thanks so much. Tupigia kanini makofi, asante ni sana. Your Excellency, as we progress, it's important to let you know that earlier we had hosted the former president. He was here and uh, we passed to him. We, 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 we alerted him that you are on the way but you are engaged somewhere and we passed uh, that message to him. And uh, he also asked that uh, we give his apologies because he wanted to stay with us but he had to go and condole with another family. So um, uh, that is how that went. I would like now to invite um, Honorable Jane Kagiri, woman lep, uh, Laikipia County, to come and bring her condolences. I think by now you know the script. Keep it brief and nice. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Rigadi Gashagwa, Her Excellency Mama Dokas, our Governor Mut Ahikaiga, all leaders present, all protocol observed. Uh, Bwana asifiwe. Mungu ni muema, na kila wakati. Uh, my name is Jane Kagiri, woman representative, Laikipia County. And on behalf of myself, my family, and the great people of Laikipia, I want to deliver my condolences to the, fa to, to the family of my friend, my neighbor, my village mate, and my church mate, Kingori Mwangi. Poleni sana, I would want to give you strength from the book of Psalms 34 verse 18, where it states that God is closest to the brokenhearted. So a moment like this, you may feel like God has forgotten you, but he's sending us to remind you that he's there with you and he'll keep holding your hand. Uh, for me, I would want to say, Kingori Mwangi was my neighbor. And I'll give only three very quick instances. I first knew him as a good friend, then we discovered we were neighbors. And I remember I used to leave my house at 545 and whenever I joined the road, I would see his GK, a blue Mercedes Benz, in front of me. When we got to traffic, I would see policemen salute. And so one day I joked to him and told him, I'm sure these policemen don't know if it's my car they are saluting or your car, because they think you are my chase car. So Kingori laughed and told me, Sikumoja utajua mimi ni nani. So one day I got into problems in traffic, and I called him. 
So he was like, are you addressing your bodyguard or you need me to assist you as the deputy AIG? Certainly he assisted me and we became even greater friends. Later on, I decided I was going to con uh, contest in the year 2013. And I remember sitting with Kingori Mwangi and he asked me which party are you contesting on? I told him I was contesting on a small party. Then he asked me, if you're joining politics, have you read these four books? Politicians listen or leaders. The first one was Sun Tzu, The Art of War. The second one was In Hostile Territory. The third one was Art of Seduction. And the last one was The 47 Laws of Power. So he told me, when you are done reading those books, please come back and talk to me. So I would want to thank him for he changed the type of books I would read. So finally, I would want to give the other instance. Kingori Mwangi was a very competitive person. And DIG, I'm surprised how he did not make it to IG because he was extremely competitive in all areas. The last one I would want to mention is I go to PCA church. And we happen to be going to the same church with Kingori Mwangi, that is PCA Nairobi West. So one day he challenges me and tells me, who is more PCA than the other? So I told him, I believe I'm more PCA than you because I went to church school, I went to brigade, I went to youth. Then I made a join. They told me they will call me. Until today, they have never called me. I'm sure it is the voice they had, and they knew it was not going to fit that choir. So from then on, we, he kept telling me, choir anytime I would annoy him. But the beauty of this story is, towards the end, and to, towards the end of last year, I joined Women's Guild, and I was given the followers headscarf. So I called King Ori Mwangi and told him, I think I am now more PCA than you, because now me, I have the headscarf, and you still don't have the PCMF jacket. So he told me, Sawa we umbeshinda. So last week, I called my friend Maina and asked him, when are we laying to rest our good friend King Orimwangi? And he tells me, on Saturday. I thought Maina was confusing, because him is Catholic. But because I'm PCA, I know PCA rarely conducts a funeral on a Saturday. So to my friend, I want to say, you have won the battle. You are more PCA than me. If PCA agreed to bury you on Saturday, you are more PCA than me. Finally, I would want to say, in the morning I woke up and everybody told me, happy birthday, Jane. Again, I looked at my diary and I knew, my great friend, you have won again. On my birthday, I come in respect to send you off in a befitting send-off. Mungu wa wabariki, tunawapenda sana. Asante li sana.